Hey there, signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for your next 48 hours. I hope everybody's doing really good. Listen up. <laughs> so, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, all your comments. I appreciate you all so very much. You have no idea. Very, very much. Very much so, subscriber. If you haven't subscribed, please do if you end up enjoying this reading. If not, it was good to have you. And um, we're going to get started calling in your spirit guides, higher self, higher power for the sign of Virgo for the next 48 hours. This is the Divine Feminine Entrepreneur deck. So angels help guide us. I'm going to grab a few of these cards first for Virgo. Entrepreneur cards. What should you be doing, Virgo? All right. Prioritize and focus. Narrow your focus. Split energy leads to poor results. Prioritize your most important business task and get them done first. So get your most important things done first. You're probably doing too much multitasking and that might be what's happening. Um, analyze. Research your market and analyze your competition. Decide how you're going to make better offers and provide more value than everybody else. How are you going to do that? Let's see. Let's get some of these. Aboriginal Dreaming Totems. Let's get these for Virgo. Some Dream Totems for Virgo. Maybe one more. Okay. Discretion. Friendships are fantastic, but it's talking, it's talking about do you get um, reciprocal... Do you have reciprocal uh, friends? <laughs> Is everything reciprocal? Are you giving and taking the same? You know what I mean? Like, are you giving as well as receiving and expression, ex discretion, sorry. Discretion or discernment. Use your discernment. Study fast. When things seem to be moving slowly, take the time to regain your energy. It could be a break, you know, just for that. Then we have caution strange one to come out there is no truth behind this forest be wary of smoke and mirrors look closer and the illusion will soon melt away revealing a sanctuary where only truth remains self-love i love that self-love is not egotistical shows you and others that you're worthwhile and deserve love in many forms i say all forms deserve love in all forms all right, now, now we're gonna grab a couple of these archetype deck. If I can get it out, okay. Archetype deck for Son of Virgo. Next forty-eight hours. Let's get a couple of energies, please. Couple of energies, please, spirit. Analyze your market. Focus on what you need to focus on after analyzing. Use discretion in, in buying, too, and analyzing. Um, the Shapeshifter. That's a good card. That's a good energy. And then we have the Mystic. That's good energy. Then we have, oh, Anima Mundi. Wow. All right. On the bottom, the Judge. Maybe a Justice situation here. So, what we've got is the shapeshifter. It's the card about kind of being able to shed your skin and being whatever it is that you need to be at the moment. Um, it is definitely about like shedding sh uh, snake skin. God, I can't talk. Get to your reading and now I can't talk. Um, so, the shapeshifter is it's associated with the number 15 to... So 555, five, five. this is about change and it's about adapting to that change. Okay, um, the mystic, I'm really feeling like this is like um, taking bits and pieces from all kinds of religions and spiritualities and blending things that you feel are true to you 
and that is like mystic type energy. So you still believe in things like um, spirituality and forces and energies and stuff like that. But it, it's it's almost a little bit of light worker appeal to it. The mystic does. The mystic accepts and rejects none. Accepts all, rejects none. The anima mundi here, also about change and metamorphosis too. Anima Mundi is all that is. This is truly what this card means is here is all that is. That is all yours. Your future self, if you think about it, your higher self has already achieved everything that you want to achieve. Let it guide you and let it be known that that's your birthright, that you already have had everything. Let your higher self show you. All right, let's do the tarot now. So Virgo, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles on the bottom, looking good, looking good. What's the issue? The Virgos, what's the issue? Good news coming in, that's really good. It's my good news card, page of wands, could be a child fire sign. This is about definitely good news and package your letter, something coming in for you, Capricorn. What is the challenge here? What is the challenge? The Queen of Wands. It's either Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The energy is to be more bold, more daring, to start on this passionate new adventure here, this good news. Putting your skills to the test, putting them front and center stage, being bold, daring, knowing how attractive yeah, you are. The Queen of Wands card has so much confidence in it. It's unreal. The Devil was what I drew for your the root or at the base of it, and I really feel like good news might be coming your way regarding a Capricorn or you have to be bold and daring to break away from the attachments that the devil energy or the shadowy energy can offer. This isn't just your, this is like shadow, shadow, dark, dark energy causing influence. Um, influence maybe even thinking thoughts that come through and they pass through you think they're your they're yours but something here might be um just influencing so try to really protect your energy maybe burn some sage or something like that or put some salt around you <laughs> anything past energy doing everything by yourself here virgo doing everything by yourself and it feels exhausting just looking at that feels exhausting patience have patience these um these things these times these people the anger it will temper itself all is needed all divine timing so patience is needed your patience is needed knight of cups is the offer that's going to come to you probably that spirits working behind the scenes to implement or to make happen pulling the strings so something that you were dealing with alone for a long time, you might have help because people are trying trying to get along here with this. Ooh, near future energy is the star. It could be a card of Aquarius, but it comes out immediately here in the near future. Um, it's your hopes, your dreams, your wish. It's everything. It's what you're cultivating. It's what you've been working on for a long time. I would consider this personal development, personal wishes. What is the how you are feeling spot? Feeling like making a decision, like you're at a crossroads in your life. Need to make a decision regarding a partnership, regarding the star, regarding this new passionate beginning. Underlying we have the eight of swords. Feeling you're kind of guilty about something. Well, let go of that guilt. I can tell you that won't help. The lovers could be Gemini. The star could be Aquarius. Temperance could be Sagittarius. Then we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Capricorn, and then water signs. What's in the external? You're ready for a rebirth here. Something has got to go forward, but you're going to have to go through this metamorphosis first and adapt to the change. Okay. What is the hopes and fears? That that this um, couple or partnership can't get along. That is a fear. This might be twin flame energy, maybe. Okay, what's the outcome? 
the sun, could be a Leo, something will shine the light on your um, partnership. Something will shine a light and illuminate it and bless it. So the sun, bright, warm, guiding you, loving you, divine, representing the divine. Bottom is uh, the seven of cups. You have so many options to choose from. You'll have so many options to choose from if you don't already feel that energy. All right, so let's get you some tea leaves and then wrap your reading up. All right, guys, uh, Apple. Temptation will test you. Temptation will test you. Arrow, which is good. You are on the right path. There you go. That path right now that's being opened up. So this is you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life here. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Look, there's the arrow again. Maybe Cupid's arrow, who knows? They're shot, they're firing at each other. <laughs> the target, a goal-oriented person. Dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. And cat, a two-faced friend. All right, guys. That's what I've got for you. I hope you got something out of that. Thanks. Bye.